org underscore id is nothing but operating unit id vijay what is that what is the difference between business unit id and org id in the table do you see both the columns in the tables uh, i guess ganesh both are referring the same concept right in our cloud application whereas in you know uh, while creating ap uh, sorry or invoice in your ebs there also we are able to see operating unit lov right in our automobile system here also when you are creating your invoice you are able to see business in lov the same concept but here uh, we are ganesh uh, do you have really seen two columns like business unit and and org id in the table uh, I'll check and then I'll let you. I think uh, there are only I, two columns I because I've seen both the columns. Business unit, business business unit, unit ID and org ID is nothing but same. Okay, if there are two columns are also there, okay. then. So if you see if there is, yeah. see if 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 in AP invoices all there is no org ID column and there is a business only business unit ID column, then it's very clear. Yeah. Then there is no question Correct. that they are Correct. two or different. Correct. So I'll just check from my side. I will not say that I am very sure on it. Okay. Fine. I'll check on my side and then I if if it, if there are two IDs at the same time and they are having different values in it, then okay. I will definitely come back with this Please question. Please Ganesh, share. Post your question in the WhatsApp group or email. Sure, sure. Yeah, Krishna, Kishor here. Krishna or Vijay. So we have created uh, suppliers actually, uh, mm -hmm. some suppliers and almost uh, uh, sub, sub, like a payment administrator, payables administrator, payables supervisor, every role uh, I uh, assigned for me. Mm -hmm. But uh, manage suppliers task I cannot see. Mm -hmm. Any idea like any profile option uh, is restricting that? No, generally many suppliers you should be able to see uh, if you are having supplier administrator or supplier manager role you should be able to see there should not be any issue with it under create suppliers you should be able to see many suppliers also under create supplier task list okay uh, do you have the instance details login details handy with you right now if you want i can verify after the session okay that's fine we can um, can verify it. Okay. by the time you can make sure you yeah yeah even i can check you have the login details two roles you should be having only supplier administrator and supplier manager role only those are the two roles for suppliers okay supplier administrator and supplier manager supplier manager any more questions team krishna hmm. can you please explain about uh, internal banks receivables internal banks i'm not bank a bank yes. bank account and branches i'm a supply chain consultant okay Not very. I don't uh, involve in the banks part because it comes to the payment, right? It's yeah. The finance comes here. Okay. What is your question on that? Can you please again uh, explain? Me Actually, I am working on uh, receivables internal bank. I am working on conversion. Okay. So I wanted to know about that. Okay. You are asking what is the difference between? No, oh, we have uh, uh, supplier related banks and customer related banks, right? uh -huh, yeah right so i want to know about that more so supplier related banks is nothing but bank accounts of suppliers and customer bank customer bank accounts uh, vijay uh, vijay uh, banks related tables are same right for supplier banks also yes. and receivable yeah, banks suppliers, also yes yeah, supplier related uh, tables are same as your ebs ibby tables again a supplier side you could see your supplier banks right Same no, we have we have IBI tables also, and we have CE banks table also. Yes, yeah, CE banks, CE banks, you know, uh, general uh, customer banks. Team, okay. uh, do you ever of uh, how to see the tables links from the Oracle site itself? Do you ever of that? Yeah, I showed you. I showed you. Okay. So uh, if you yeah, Google like. Yeah, uh, uh, Krishna, thanks. You have brought this question. <laughs> I was just stuck on the on the other day. Uh, See, uh, module-wise, I found the tables, but mm -hmm. uh, I the per table. So mm -hmm. actually, per per uh, table. Sorry, you're. Let's see them. 
it comes under hcm because user definition is under hcm so per tables you will see on the hcm side tables and rest apis also you will find on the hcm side okay okay yeah. i'll show you if you want uh, or can show you in hcm tables always you try to keep the version also at then so this version uh, oracle is coming quarter wise version right for correct. every year correct yeah and rest api also will find uh, in the google itself rest api details also like sample json files also will find find from here this is for rest api hcm or hcm procurement financials you can type if it is a table you type table if it is rest api type rest api if it is a fda type fda okay and these are the tables and uh, per tables you will find under uh, global human resource these are the part tables okay okay yeah thanks and in a similar way rest api also to go to the rest api user creation and uh, user termination all those okay how to fetch the department list of values how to create an employee okay create an employee rest api and sample this is a rest api and we just might have covered it and sample json file also you will be able to see for yourself and vijay is there any change any any change in the excel oh, sorry the sub ledger to excel to gl means that can you please elaborate your question that is we must know can you please elaborate your question means is there any, because see, uh, what we expect when whenever oracle comes with a new version say mm -hmm. suppose now uh, we have 12.1.3 mm -hmm. so there is some addition or some new feature say suppose uh, now in 12.1.3 we have a balance forward billing concept in receivables okay. that was not in the previous version 12.1.2 okay. suppose okay. but in 12.1.3 that was introduced by oracle okay. similarly now we are talking about cloud and mm -hmm. 12.1.3 because in 12 point after 12.1.3 we have 12.2.7 mm -hmm. and then after right. that we have cloud which is very different from architectural point of view mm -hmm. so what i am saying is, what what i just uh, would like to know is if there mm -hmm. are any changes from subledger to uh, uh, xla to gl that we that you feel that we must uh, you know uh, it, it is important for us to know Are there any such changes? Uh, yeah, I'll answer your question. There is no change. Uh, same SLA concept is same, and the posting and all same, and XLA tables and all also same. Because tables mostly it is same because the schema is same, Oracle schema is same. That is the reason Oracle is also uh, launching a new product called uh, Oracle Sor, which will automatically upgrade the uh, EBS system to the Fusion system. It's a straight forward upgrade from Oracle EBS to Fusion. so since the table and schema is same so it is able to do that upgrade project by oracle and uh, in, in functional standpoint of you uh, coming to the sla the same but only one difference is uh, in case of uh, ebs uh, for all the supply chain transactions uh, sla seeded sla we can use but in fusion so for supply chain management transactions uh, we have to configure sla we have to configure sla only that is the difference i am saying 